Hey everybody, Instant Prepper here. I wanted to make another video for you. Um, one of the things I've been uh, hunting around for on the on YouTube is plans for making a do-it-yourself solar panel stand. It just doesn't seem to be a whole lot of videos out there uh, just relating to this. And it just seemed like it was hard to find something. You kind of have to piece things together. So that's what I did. I kind of looked at a couple of designs. I saw one that I pretty much fashioned this one after, but they don't actually talk about the stand specifically, like how they built it or whatnot. Um, and I had the, I had this panel that really the mount and stuff that came with it is designed to mount to a pole or a, you know, some, like the side of your house or something, possibly to something that had been uh, made for engineering, uh, like stops like some of the signs for DOT things like that but what I ended up doing was I kind of threw together some stuff uh, on paper and then I went over to Lowe's this morning picked all this stuff up basically I spent uh, for at Lowe's for all the PVC tubing uh, the elbows the T connections some little screws I spent less than seven dollars and then I was happened to be over at Walmart a little later today and I got some steaks uh, and I'll show you what these are for in a minute. I got these for two bucks. So I got four stakes to hold this down. So let me reset the camera real quick and I will kind of walk you around my solar panel stand. Be right back. All right, so what I've got on here is a 20 watt panel. You may have seen this panel in another video that I had done where um, it's for my, um, my little solar generator that I carry around with me when I go camping. Basically what I did was I, let me go around the back here, made this just completely out of PVC tubing out of half inch, and then I got some half inch, the, I got the 90 degree, I'll move over to this side, so I got the 90 degree, I got some four T connectors, And then what I did was I just uh, used some wire ties. So it's not permanently mounted to this. And then just all the wires are kind of tucked in behind. So then what I did here was I put some eyelets there and there. And two more on the other side. I kind of just stuck these in just so you get an idea. I really didn't want to take it down permanently but these can just go into the eyelet push those down and these are pretty some pretty I was actually pretty impressed with these stakes for two bucks at Walmart they're pretty thick so let me get these out and I'll show you a little bit more how I put it together so none of this is glued all of this can, like this part here, let me back up some. So th this can just twist. And basically, I just took the 90 degree, cut a little piece, and just measured it out so that it would fit with the T. Now, the biggest thing that I did was, I'll put this back on the, well, um, let me match this in there. Try to, Make everything just so uh, kind of um, in line, flush with everything, so that it would kind of fold flat if you were going to carry it. So you can see it all folds flat. Um, and what I did was basically I, I don't want to really give dimensions on this because the panels vary so wildly that. Giving you dimensions are really not going to help you, I don't think, but more or less showing you what I did. So basically, I laid this down. First, I did the, the piece that goes that length. And I left a little gap on this side. Left a little gap on that side, just, just for the heck of it. I didn't want to have everything bunched right up together. And then, I... Um, then I made this so that the pipe was 
flat on the on mine and you could probably tell mine's got eyelets in there so it's hard to pick that up but the the wire ties just go through the frame so then I'm gonna put this back on the tripod here so I can have both hands So when you want to set this up, it literally is just, this is, you can put this to any, any, however you want, however you need it to be. And that's it. I just, it, it's, I mean, it seems real simple, but I just couldn't really find any definitive plans on how to make an inexpensive do-it-yourself solar panel stand. So. When I, put my when I put the panel together, it came with a real short piece of wire. So I added about a 10 foot section and then I'm just using these connectors. So with this, I'll be able to run this into the electrical port uh, pouch on my tent. If we go camping, it's, the panel uh, is waterproof. The um, cable's waterproof. PVC, you're not gonna hurt that in the rain. So for the most part, you could just leave this out your whole camping trip and have your solar power. You could actually make this any, I've seen it where you could make, I'm gonna turn the camera here a little bit. Now you could make this top part longer and actually have two panels if you wanted to. I would, now what I did for this tubing is this is the the lower grade um, half inch tubing because it was so small I just didn't feel like I needed there was some that was like 600 burst test and you could tell the in, interior diameter was thicker than this tubing was and I bought this whole 10 foot section for a dollar and seventy cents um, and basically just just kind of fashioned it just sitting at a table I had the whole thing done in about 30 minutes um, and I think that I've given enough to, you know details to where you could make your own you could make you could make these longer to accommodate a bigger panel if you were gonna have a really tall panel you probably want to put a T in the middle of it maybe one or two T's in the middle of it to give it some more strength but for the, so I think you'll find that this will be a simple simple way to make a, a stand and not to spend a lot of money. Just use some wire ties and you can hook it up without having to worry about um, you know, making it permanent. And then, uh, as I said, the friction from this just keeps all the, the pieces together. Um, this may work itself loose, but um, just, just push the ends together and you'll be fine. So if you have any questions, let me know. You know give me a thumbs up. Um, I always appreciate that. Let me know what videos you like and don't like. If you got any questions, please hit me up in the comments down below. I'll be happy to answer any questions for you. Um, as always, please subscribe to my channel uh, and I will keep coming with videos as quickly as I can. Thanks a lot.